also substances so hopefully you check your answer at market okay now we go to question one okay let's see the question one uh, they show about the diagram two diagram one is the atomic another one is the molecule substances so from here we need to answer the first one what's the meaning for the atomic substances so atomic substances actually they are the substance they co just contain about the uh, atom only they just got atom only okay number two we see about what's the meaning for the molecular of the substances okay molecular substances actually they make up with the okay we check the answer okay there are two or more atom after that they are through the combined by using the chemically process so they can when they just combine they can either same uh, type of the atom they also can be different type of the atom so this one is a definition for the atomic and also molecular substances okay now we go to question number two okay you need to tick okay tick for the correct statement about the ionic substances okay now they're talking about ionic substances so the first one we see it ionic substances uh, are formed when the metal element are combined with the atom of the non-metallic uh, element so that means they combine by the metal element and also non-metallic element so is it this one is a ionic substances okay we check the answer yes that should be combination okay number two is a uh, ionic substances that has low melting point and boiling point i think this one should be wrong because ionic substances must have the high and also uh, melting point and boiling point so if that's a not correct you don't go to cross uh, because the question never asks you go to cross it okay now we go to the c positive ions and also the negative ions in the ionic substances are joined together okay when they join together they're with the strong electrostatic forces so they got uh, the force very strong to pull to each other ions so is it this one is the ionic substances okay let's see the answer yes so these two is the answer for the ionic substances okay let me go to question number three okay question number three you need to determine whether the following substances are atomic molecular or ionic substances so you need to take okay so from here we see the first substance there's a salt okay salt so actually it's a ionic substance okay number two there's a carbon dioxide carbon dioxide there's a combination so combination here should be the molecular substance and the last one is a copper copper is one type of the atom only so there's an atomic substance okay so we go to following question number four Okay, question number four is a fill in the blank. Okay, fill in the blank with the correct answer. Okay, let's see the question one. Okay, they say uh, the periodic tables, the elements are arranged horizontally in order of their increasing. So when we just arrange the element in the periodic tables, from the left to the right, we are followed by the increasing proton number. So we can find the proton number from the left is a less. When I go to the right, the number will be increasing. Okay, number two, the element in the same group, same group means a vertical, same group, have the same chemical properties, okay, because they have the same, okay, valence electron. Valence electron means when you write about the element arrangement, 282, 284, that means the, the valence electron means the last one. The last one becomes the same, if for the same element in the same group. Okay, now we go to see the following B. They say the table they show the symbol for represent for the elements there's a w x y and also z okay so from here you need to determine the proton number for every element below proton number we need to see the bottom one not the upper one upper one is a number is biggest one because there's a mixtures with the proton 
and also the neutron. So we just see the bottom if you want to find about the proton number. So from here, W should be 11, X should be 12, then Y should be 13, and also the Z should be 20. Okay, so this one is the answer for the number of the proton. Okay, we go to question number five. Okay, this one is not number five. This one just continued the just now question. Okay, now you need to draw the electron arrangement. So this one we call electron arrangement. So you need to draw the electron in the, uh, in the shell. So normally the first shell we draw about two electrons. The second shell is the eight. Okay, number three actually is the 18. If it's not enough for the 18, we just continue to draw this as an eight. Okay. So number four, then you are continued. So we go to first one, that's a W. Just now we find the W is uh, 11, is it? So how to draw? So we start with the first shell is a two, then followed by the second, second one should be eight. So you got 10 already. So extra one more, then you go to the third shell. So we check W. Okay, two, eight, and one. Okay, now we go to the X, X is a 12. 12, that means 2, 8, and 2. Lah. So follow the W, then just extra one more. So we just draw like this. Okay, now we go to Y. Y, the answer is, okay, we check. Okay, we got 2, then we got 8, after that we got 13. You see, 2 and 1. So there's a 13 here. Uh, now we go to the last one. The last one is the biggest number, there's a 20. So they need to using the fourth shell. So from here they start with two, eight, eight. Okay, two eight just eighteen only. So you got extra how many? Two more is it? So two more must be go to fourth shell. Okay, now we check the answer. Okay, two, eight, eight, then two more. Okay, so this one is the answer for the electron arrangement. Okay, the following is a table. They show about the proton number uh, that of the element P to Y. So you write the electron arrangement for every element. So arrangement electron. So we need to write 2AA, 2X6 like this. So from here you see the number proton. Okay, for the uh, normal element, number proton and number electron should be the same. So from here I show you the answer already. If proton number is 2, that means electron also 2. So you just follow by the first shell, there's a 2. Then follow 13, 2, 8, 3. 7 is 2, 5. 19 should be 2, 8, 8, 1. Then using the fourth shell. Okay, 16 is 2, 8, 6. Okay, 6, just using 2 only. There's a 2, 4. 12 is 2, 8, 2. 10 is a 2, 8. 9 is a 2, 7. And the last one, 20, they're using fourth shell. 2, 8, 8, 2. Okay, now we go to second subtopic. There's an isotope. Okay, fill in the blank. Again, isotope are the atom of the same element with the same number of okay, proton. The number proton should be the same. Different with the number of the neutrons. Okay, neutron number difference. Okay, because of the proton number become the same, so isotope have the same chemical properties. Okay, but they're different with the chem, uh, physical properties. Example physical properties here, they got density, boiling, and also the melting point. Because your mass differences, then we find it these all physical properties, they're sure difference. Okay. Okay, the next one is a table. They show about the example of the sum of the uh, isotopes. Now you need to determine the number of the neutron for every isotope. Okay, neutron, how to find it? We just find the nucleon number. Can you see the nucleon number normally is the biggest number? Then the question will show you the proton number. So up is a nucleon, down should be the proton. So you want to find the neutron, then you need to minus. You take the biggest one, minus the smallest so that one is a neutron numbers okay now we check the answer we got six seven eight and also eight okay 
Then we follow by the next one. Okay, number four, oxygen. Seven, eight, so the number pro uh, neutron is a nine. And the oxygen, the last one is a ten. Okay, we go to last question. There's a match, the following isotope with the correct users. Okay, first one, you're going to see the carbon-14. Okay, carbon-14 is used for the age for the faucet. So you need to check about the age for the artifact. So this one is a number two. Okay, then we're going to see the phosphorus. Phosphorus is using for the plantation. So this one is using for the fertilizer. So we're going to check the answer last one to determine the rate of the absorption of the phosphate by the plants. Okay, three, cobalt-16. Cobalt-16 is related with the cancer treatment. So from here, the answer should be to kill the, uh, the cancer scale. And the last one is a sodium-24. They want to uh, detect the leakage of the underground pipe. Okay. Okay, so this one is what I want to show you about the module answer. So you can check it. Uh, you can mark it. Then the following should be the chapter 9. Chapter 9, I provide the question already. So I will show the answer coming soon. Okay, student, our lesson just until here only. Hope you understand. If you not understand, then you can PM me and ask me the question. So the following should be chapter 9. Thank you for your watching.